when I was travelling through Mexico, I came across a dish called mole, which is basically chicken or turkey or whatever you want to cook, cooked with chocolate. And I love chocolate, and it's a really easy thing to cook with, if you know how. And this is a great little dish that you'll be able to do at home. Now, it starts with a chicken, and what I'll do is I'll take the chicken out of the packet here, and this is air-chilled chicken, which means there's no extra water. It's all about the chicken and the flavour. Now, I'll take the packet off there, and I'll bust this chicken up. I'm going to joint it into a couple of pieces so it makes it easy to cook and easy to portion up. The first thing I do is cut it straight down the back here, either side of the spine and remove the spine. You can see it comes out really easily. What I like to do is save this for a chicken stock and I'll pop that just over there. Now I want to split the chicken in half and it's just easy to do by just putting a knife right above the chest bone there and pushing it down all the way through there. You can see it comes apart really, really easily. Now at this stage here, I like to remove these little rib bones here because I find they're so small and they get in the way. But you can take them off really quickly by just running your knife underneath them and then cracking through it like that. And then you just turn it over and what I like to do is cut between the breast and the Maryland and separate that. Now the same thing here, I'll just take these little winglets here off because I don't want those things, I'll save them for later on. And then while you're here, you just trim off some of these excess bits of fat, pop them there and you've got the chicken ready to go. Now I'll do the same thing on this side here, I run my knife underneath it here like this and just remove those tiny little rib bones here. I like to get them out of the way because I don't like all those little bones when I'm braising and I just like the big chunky pieces of bone to hold them together. And then turn it over here like this and then cut it through there between the Maryland and the breast. And then I'll take this little winglet off here and then I'm good to go. Now I'll just put the chicken here like this and this is the most important part. You've got to season the chicken. Salt loves meat, meat loves salt. So I'll make sure I've got plenty of salt on this side here and some pepper as well. There we go, good twist of pepper on there. And then it's a matter of popping it into the pan. You can see my pan's nice and hot, so I'll add some extra virgin olive oil and that's gonna start sizzling straight away. Pop that over there like that and then I pop it in skin side down. And I do that for a good reason because I want the skin to crisp up and render down so I've got all the flavour in there. So pop this side in here like this and you see that's looking really, really nice. I like the fat from the skin. I think it gives it so much flavour and it tastes delicious as well. Now, I'll pop some salt on this side here, a little bit on there, and you can see that sizzling. That's what you want to hear. When it's sizzling like this, you know it's going to taste really, really good. And some pepper goes on there as well. And now it's time to set up the rest of the ingredients. So I've got these onions here, and I'll slice them nice and thin. So they can still pick them up with a fork when you eat them, but they'll spread the flavour out through the whole sauce. Now, the idea of a mole, it's basically a casserole but made with chocolate. And the chocolate gives it a little bit of sweetness and some bitterness as well. Now I slice the garlic up nice and thin like that. I could smash it if I want to, but I want it nice and thin. Now I'm using a couple of types of chilli here. These are jalapeno chilies, which are fairly easy to get hold of. And I'm just slicing them up into little pieces like this with the seeds in them. You can take the seeds out if you want because they're the hot part, but the seeds, I want to go all the way through it and I want lots of flavour. This is an ancho chilli that you can get from most grocery stores. You can soak it in water and then tear it up, but I'm just going to slice it like this all the way through here. This gives it a lovely smoky flavour. It's a great chilli to have and it sits in your pantry until you're ready to use it. But the trick is to soak it in some water and then you can make a sauce out of it. But I like it just like this. Now I'll turn the chicken over and have a little look at it. Look at that lovely colour on that side. Colour on that side, that's what I'm looking for. Now I'll turn this little baby over here and you can see I've got lovely colour on the outside. I could seal off the bottom of it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to throw this straight into this lovely dish over here, which is perfect for cooking in the oven. Pop the little leg over here like that and this breast here over there. Now I'm going to get everything frying off. I've got the onions straight into the pan here like that. The garlic goes in, all the chilies go in there and that'll start sweating off and give me lots of flavour. Now I'm going to season it up as well with a little bit of salt and some pepper and give that a bit of a whoosh around. Now the onions and chilli are going to sweeten this up a lot so I'm just going to stir these for a minute or so until they soften up and then we'll get going with the rest of the stuff. My onions have softened up a little bit and I'm getting a really nice aroma from the chilies. 
time to start adding the rest of the ingredients. I've got some garlic powder here, and that'll help to thicken it up a little bit. Some sesame seed as well. That'll toast up in the oil and make sure I stir that all the way in. And I've got some dried chili flakes. That'll give it plenty of heat as well. And some Mexican oregano. It doesn't really matter what oregano you use. You could use marjoram as well. You could use thyme or even a bit of rosemary. It all tastes good. The aroma coming off that is beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is the mole paste that I got from Mexico. It's a lovely flavour. Mm. It's sort of like cocoa with a lot of spices in it. It's a great thing to get. You can get it from a lot of grocery stores nowadays. It's becoming quite popular. But if you don't have this, I'm going to give you a little tip. You can also use some dark chocolate. The darker the chocolate, the better, because you want that bit of flavour, not the sweetness. In that goes as well. And then to mix it all around, I've got some stock in here, and that'll be the sauce. I pour that over the top here like that, and what I'll do is I'll wait for that chocolate to melt, this to come to the boil, I'll pour it over this chicken, I'll pop it into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and let it cook for about 40 minutes. The chicken will be nice and tender and that sauce will be dark and rich and flavoursome. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, it's ready to go. I'll just take one of the legs out here and pop it into a bowl so you can see it. It's cooked to perfection, nice and tender, and the sauce is what it's all about. So I'll spoon some of this over the top there so you see how shiny and luscious and rich and dark that sauce is. The chocolate flavour is really strong. I can smell it, and that's what it's all about to me, that lovely chocolatey flavour and the spices in there. That's a great little dish. And served like this in the middle of the table, you know everyone's going to be loving it. Served with some rice and beans, easy to eat and easy to please. Now, let me taste this sauce. Mm. That's perfect. Slight bitterness to it with the chocolate and a little bit of sweetness as well. Lots of flavour in there. That is a perfect chicken mole.